Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Back up, back you up with the information that matters to you Yo, check this out, man Sparking the age old um, uh, Yeah, look, we got a couple stories Sparking the age old end of um, The age old uh, goat debate Is Styles P, man You know what I'm saying? The man's done spoke on uh, who he believes is a goat Hey yo, take a listen For most people who understand him as the the greatest MC to ever live, what makes him the greatest, he was really great in all aspects of rhyming. Mm -hmm. Most people are good at two categories, maybe three if you're pushing it. Big was really, really nice in all categories, but what really topped it off was he was, he was a charismatic individual, but he was very fucking classy and G at the same time. So he didn't just treat me um, kissing Luch good, he treated all of our homeboys good. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I, I disagree, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you agree with him, man? I, I, I Like, I, I can't fully agree. I can't. I, I'm sorry I can't. You know what I'm saying? L listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. Classy and G, I'll grant that. You know what I mean? Like, I will grant that for Biggie. You know what I mean? Nice with the rhymes and flow, the cadence, everything. I will grant that. Goat? I, I don't think so. <clears throat> Over Pac? Nah. A apparently, right? Look, I, this, I love when an artist raps with passion and when I can hear the passion in the artist rhymes, you know what I'm saying? I did like, um, I like the way uh, King Von delivered his lyrics. I like the way Tory Lane delivers his lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like the way, uh, uh, believe it or not, I like the way NBA Youngboy delivers his lyrics. I like the way Buckshot Shorty delivers his lyrics. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of passion in the way these artists rap, okay? Pac, he delivered his lyrics with crazy amount of passion. Now, um, I'm not saying Biggie didn't. I just enjoy the way that they did. I look, I even love to listen to Onyx. You know what I mean? That's old school, man. But them dudes, when they, when the delivery of what they were doing, it's like you felt that joint. You see what I'm saying? I don't think I could put Biggie in a GOAT category though, man. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I would put Redman over Biggie. I, real talk, you know what I'm saying? And, and look, we all know Redman is a savage in all kinds of ways. You see what I'm saying? But I will put Redman over, over Biggie easily. You know what I'm saying? I will put Buckshot over Biggie. I'll put I, I'll put Biggie over Jay, but not over Ye. You know what I'm saying? Content now, now, now content wise, Jay would have it by a landslide. Okay? May I reiterate that? I think content wise, Jay has Biggie by a landslide. Okay? But but delivery not over yay and 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 we just talking about who we prefer to listen to you see what i'm saying look look look, look. i can hear someone getting tight right? how dare you not agree with me big was from brooklyn that makes him the goat no bruh that does not make him the goat okay that makes him from brooklyn you, you see what i'm saying buckshot shorty said tough where you're from miss about where you're at you know what I mean? Like, that's what he said. And that's, to me, what I believe it is. You know what I mean? T.I., Lil Wayne, these people are still out here. Like, you know, like, think about the delivery of their music. Think about how hot their music was. You see what I'm saying? The GOAT convo was a very hard convo to have because we had some ill, like, Lil Wayne, bro. Like, <laughs> real G's moving silence like lasagna. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's just, it's. Let me keep it going, cause you know what I mean. Like, let me keep it going. Some some folks are gonna get me. Listen, say cheese posted something yesterday, right? Which which um which read which read starting today in Tennessee. This is yesterday. A person will be required to pay child support if they kill a parent while driving. <laughs> which which to me, I think that's a fantastic. Look at the windows in my car just fogging up. It's just fogging up. And, and you know what's crazy? As crazy as I get with these recordings. People will see foggy windows, the car shaking, they can be, oh man, it's a lab, get it in. Bruh, I'm just, I, I'm, yeah, I'm on my phone, I'm not getting it in. You know what I mean? People are gonna be looking at it like, ooh, they, I don't think I'm gonna call the cops on me. Um, that's a fantastic law, right? If you kill a drunk driver, if, if, you, if you a drunk driver and you kill a parent, you now gotta pay child support. But here's my thing. Won't the person that struck the parent, won't they then be in prison? How the hell are they gonna pay child support? Is it me? Maybe I'm slow. You know what I mean, maybe I'm saying someone help me, help me. <sighs> anyway, um, the artist Blueface. I'm, 
Can I say all this? See, I'm asking the question, right? Because we know Blueface more for getting into heat with folks than for actually doing music. You see what I'm saying? And although the man is out on bond on an attempted murder charge, he's still out in places like Baltimore getting into scuffles. You know what I mean? We don't know what the altercation was for, but what's being stated is that Blueface knocked someone out and he went to the gram and posted, quote, he was sleepy. He was sleepy. I don't know. These people are different. I mean, ain't, ain't, he, ain't it different? Like, how do you hate being free? That's just the thing. That, like, I love being free. I love getting out the... I love getting out the house, like walking to the store. I like, I like freedom. I don't want to be locked in with a bunch of other men. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know these people are different. Like these, this, uh, the, these people are different. One person on Twitter posted, they said, um, Blueface got into an altercation last night outside a local club in Baltimore. Uh, <laughs> um, listen, didn't his attempted murder charge happen outside a club in Vegas? Like, like, then the club got shot down. Remember the shut down? Remember, remember that? Like, if I'm facing an attempted murder charge, right? A club, because of a shooting that took place at a club, a club is the last place I'm gonna be outside of, man. You know what I'm saying? The 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 Twitter user, the Twitter user posted, quote, he and Krishan Rock was at the club for the New Year's Eve party. The fight apparently broke out when Blue ran into some men who were associated with Krishan's father, who he fought in September of last year. Close quote. Yeah, I can understand that. Suddenly it makes sense. Yeah, you know I mean, I can see that. Yeah, you know I mean, if I was that girl's father, it would be on site every day, all the time. Every day, or if I was her father, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know who it'll be on site on though, because I might have to, I guess, you know what? I, I might, I, I could see me disowning a kid for that. Like, the, the way these, like, the way these people are moving, you know what I mean? Like, the, like the way I, I, I would be, I would just, I, can I disown a kid? I think I can. I think I could disown a kid. Lastly, um,. Listen, um, they, they've been doing jury selection for YSL, all right? They've been doing, let me turn off this car. They've been doing jury selection for YSL, all right? It looks like, um, and, and this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have it over here? Man, uh, let me see if I can pull it up, man. It says, uh, all right, all right. So they've been selecting people of the jury, right? And and, and here's the crazy thing. This is what they, they, they said. Some of the witnesses for the prosecution might be, this will be wild, Lil Wayne, Birdman, Rich Homie Kwan, YFN Lucci. These might be some of the witnesses who could testify against Young Thug during the YSL trial, okay? Um, jury selection is, is beginning today. And um, there's a list of 372 witnesses that'll be involved in this whole situation, man. Yo, man, this is insane stuff. Thug's um, manager, tour manager, former tour manager was arrested for for, sh uh, for a shooting, played guilty, and got a 20-year sentence. You know what I mean? That's a Pee Wee Roscoe, right? And and there's been talk that um, they're going to charge who? Baby and Thug? Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Um, I take that back because I don't know what's going on. Hey, yo, um, let us know your thoughts in the comments below about all this, man. Uh, uh, well, what do you think about that law? Uh, well, the, the GOAT conversation, man, what y'all think about it? Am I crazy because I ain't put Biggie in it just because he's from Brooklyn and everybody from Brooklyn should be a GOAT? Uh, let, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Back and backing you up with the information that matters to you.